create the Da Vinci optics. Doctor, we need to keep moving. What am I looking for? Something in Italian. Is this Italian? Let me see. That's Romage. Keep looking. That's it. Ligurian. Wait, wait, what? Ligurian, look for something in Ligurian. What kind of language is that? Italian. It's not bound. No, it is, but Just watch the door. Does it say anything about the treasure? Just give me a second. Doctor?
What the hell are you doing? Coven's paying me a lot of money for this. Doctor, just give me the codex. I don't want to hurt you. Look, I don't care what he's paying you. It's not worth it. Doctor, just please. <laughs> Samantha. Seems like a lot of people are betraying you, Michael. Must not have very good friends. Well, it's friends like you, right? <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? The FBI give you your passport back? Who needs a passport? You know, at first I felt guilty about leaving you. Now I just think it's pathetic that you haven't joined us. Give me the Da Vinci Codex. Oh, what? You're gonna kill me?
How you doing, Michael? You look like a deer in the headlights. How was your flight? Dr. Coven. What happened to you? Yeah. It was fast. I had a gun and I was... You did that? Oh, no, no. Here, clean yourself up. That's a $2,000 outfit. What? That's for the Versace. You satisfied? Yeah. Um, it's a good thing she's cute. You know, neat in the waist like a wasp, deep in the ass like a horse. Huh? I bet that slut's worth every penny. Pick those up. You know what? Get over it. Every clue that you get brings me closer and closer to my treasure. Your treasure. I've been busting my ass to find that. I'll be damned if I let it wind up in your greasy hands, Coven. These are Da Vinci's all over the ground. How do you feel about that? You know the difference between you and me, Michael? I'll go to any lengths to get what I want. Any lengths. Where's Griff? You kill him? Now that is really sad. How does it feel, get up, to be losing your team one after the other, huh? How does that feel, huh? Look at this, look. <laughs> Do you know he was a homosexual? Yeah, he liked pretty little boys. I also think he invented the first vibrating dildo. <laughs> Good night. Michael, what are you waiting for? You're doing all the work for him anyway. I have a mission. Some might call it an obsession. Who would think that a historian would forsake all else for a treasure hunt? <laughs> oh, but what a treasure it is. Once the spoil of kings, empires, and one of the most powerful families of the last 2,000 years. The Medici. Five hundred years ago, it disappeared from the face of the earth. Legend says it still exists. 
hidden so well that the most powerful armies could never find it. And for as long as I can remember, I've been in search of it. This has led me to one of the most famous caretakers. Leonardo da Vinci. I believe he left clues to the treasure's location hidden in his work for future generations to discover. This has become my life's work. But I'm not alone in my quest. And others are willing to kill for their share. Or even worse. At least they spared your pretty boy looks. Just a few bumps and bruises. God, I had it in my hands, Julia. Until my man Griffey melted down. God, I still can't believe he did that. Well, you always said that money does funny things to people. Ow. Talk to me about this. I found it in your pocket. It's the artifact I got you a couple years ago. It was my father's. Yeah, I can see that. But what in the hell is a sketch of it doing on a Da Vinci Codex? I was kind of hoping you might be able to tell me that. Are you sure it's his? Well, it's not from the Codex Arundel. Most of those drawings are basically based on physics and astronomy. Can you read that? It's not Italian. I don't know what it is. God commanded the light to shine out of the darkness, shined in our hearts, something, something in the face of Christ Jesus. What is it, a passage from the Bible? I guess. It sounds like Corinthians. I need to do more research. These sketches are religious. ICQs, it's etched into the Grand Theatre in Greece, means Christ, Son of God, Saviour. That doesn't make sense. Maybe it's not from Da Vinci. Yeah, I know I saw. Well, it could be from someone else. Look at the paper. I mean, look at this image of you. Backwards writing, that's classic Da Vinci. Well, I guess we could get it analyzed. That's the book, so I just too late for that. We don't have that kind of time. Wait. It is Corinthians. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ Jesus. Corinthians 4.6. It's commonly used to refer to the existence of the Shroud of Turin. Shroud? Yeah, the shroud that Christ was buried oh, in. No, no, I know that. I'm just... Where do they keep it now? No. What? No. Look, how hard can it be? But what are you trying to find on the shroud? I told you to find out. Ah, oh, Michael, you're going straight to hell, you know that. Yeah. And you're taking me with you. That's right. And the shroud is in the cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turret. Wait, you can't just walk in there and see the shroud. Why not? Because it's not there anymore. You can see pictures. But the reliquary in the cathedral that's supposed to house the shroud is... Is what? The shroud's too important. So what are you telling me, the, the reliquary's empty? No, it does have a shroud in it. But it's a fake. It's 
but I've been told by my godfather who's a cardinal. Can we go see your godfather? Treasure. It's called the Sforza Treasure, named after the benefactor of Leonardo da Vinci. It's the treasured wealth of a, the Medici family, or more importantly, the stolen treasure riches of the Ottoman Empire. I mean, if we could locate it, it would be, well, probably the biggest find in history. And what does that have to do with the shroud? Well. It's said that before his removal from power in 1499, Sforza's ties to the Ottoman ruler, Selim, allowed him to have his treasure moved and hidden in the Ottoman Empire. And of course, Selim agreed, but he chose not to disclose the location of the burial to Sforza. And by the end of his rule, well, the location was lost forever. It sounds like you're basing a lot on a legend. Well, a legend, yes, but also my father's life's work. I mean, he spent decades taking notes, chasing down clues. When he passed away, I picked up his search. And that's what's finally led me here. My life's work has brought me here to you. And the shroud? Well, that's what we need to find out. Apparently, the burial place is a secret chamber that was built by the Knights Templar during the Crusades. The Crusades? The treasure is priceless. So is the shroud. <laughs> this is a treasure hunt. I'm sorry, but you are wasting your time. Michael, can you give us a few minutes? How'd you work things out with your godfather? Quiet. You've got to be kidding me. We've only got five minutes. This is where they keep the shroud? Well, who would look here? Not me. Tell me what you know. Well, the cloth's linen, and the... What are you doing? We're gonna take the top off so you can photograph the back. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No. Yes, we are. I'll be gentle. You better be gentle. And the weave is consistent with techniques used in first century Palestine. Now, previous testing showed no signs of paint or pigment on the shroud, but in 1998, they found blood. Blood? Traces of human blood. AB positive, I think. 
Okay, so we're dealing with an artifact that is, at least circumstantially, consistent with a 2,000-year-old funeral shroud. However, carbon dating analysis tells us that uh, it's only six to 700 years old. Unless the carbon dating's wrong. So, excuse me, the carbon dating's not wrong. Well, how do you explain these burn marks? Well, they may have swayed the results a bit, but not by 1,300 years. Well, the shroud has been mishandled so many times over the years and shoddy restorations as recent as 2002, so... Okay, help me with this, please. Please be careful. I will be careful. I'm serious. My godfather's gonna really be upset with me. Shoot him. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Sucks to always lose, doesn't it, Michael? Yeah. You know, I'm not a religious man, but I believe shooting a cardinal gets you a first class ticket to hell. <laughs> that ship sailed a long time ago. Imagine me, little girl from the Bible Belt. Give me the shroud, Michael. Don't, Michael. <sighs> See that? You can be civil. Come with me, Michael. Leave her. Sit yourself. Come on, boy. I can't believe you gave that to her. What the hell am I supposed to do? Take a bullet?
I wish you'd learn how to do this. I wouldn't need you then, would I? Thanks. For you, not a bad cup of coffee. What do you see? Same negative images that I've seen before. Some sort of isometric illusion. A what? Early 3D. It's like a false perspective created. It's very confusing. Well, if it is a shroud of Christ, I don't think we're quite meant to be dissecting it. Michael, this is wrong. Yeah, but it's right here. Staring us in the face. This is the son of God staring at us. This is more than just a treasure hunt, Michael. I really think we should go to the authorities. This is the power of God. There's an illusion here. What? A visual stunt. This is blasphemy. Just listen to me for a second. There's been visual perceptions known to the ancient Greeks since the beginning of time, but we've only been studying them for the past century, right? I mean, at least experimentally. But in the 1800s, a Swiss naturalist named L.A. Necker, he described a rhomboid drawn with 3D elements, versus in depth. And he also correctly noted that changes of, changes of eye fixation could also change perception. to know that da Vinci created a crude version of 3D glasses. Well, that's because he had information he had to keep quiet, otherwise he'd been hanged for it. Exactly, but I think he figured out some way to tell us his story 500 years after his death. Okay. So assuming this is true, how are we going to read this? Well, he described in the Codex Atlanticus the telescope. <laughs> He also talked about in the Codex of Rundle something, something very different, a pair of glasses with some concave mirrored lenses that acted as a prism. I think that there's something here that can only be read if you have those glasses. Perfect, so all we need is the glasses. And I happen to know where they are. I was afraid you were gonna say that. I just got off the phone with the court. He's in. Really? You think he's gonna go for it? Well, he's not stupid. What well, exactly? And he did just break into his house. Well, he doesn't know that. He was out of the country. <laughs> Besides, I'll make it up to him when we find that treasure. You ready? Yeah, let's get out of here. I need to talk to Dr. Cousin. This is Paul de Court. I want to talk to him about the Da Vinci optics. Where are the court's guards? Good question. You okay? I don't know, I have a really weird feeling about this. Well, you want to wait in the car? Yeah, I do. All right. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay. Otherwise, call for help.
Well, well, Dr. Michael. Just all up front. What the hell are you doing? He was a good collector. Well, he's not a good negotiator. Glasses. What the fuck are you doing here? I got the shroud. I got the glasses. But you don't know how to use them. What? I don't know. Huh? I don't? <laughs> Sit down. I'm tired of treading the same territory over and over again with you, Michael. Hey, I just find the clues. You beat people up and take them. You don't want to fuck with me, man. I'm a man of the world, a man of action. Yeah, we both are. To break it to you, but you're just a small time crook. What? You heard me. You're telling me that my stolen treasures are not as pure as your stolen treasures? You self righteous fucking hypocrite. Huh? Oh, yeah. Baghdad, you know how much is coming into me from Baghdad? I got bowls that Persian kings soaked their nuts in. 90% of the museums around the world are filled with the spoils of war. And that's what this is. A war. My war. Fuck you. I'm done with you. you Come on! What? What happened? Come on, just run! Covered as a glasses! Slow down! I've got the glasses! What? How the hell did you get it? They were in his bloody car! What happened in there? Come and kill the court. It's getting ugly. We gotta get to the airport now. Take, take a ride to us, corner. Easy, take a ride!
have your bus back in no time. Come on! Glasses are a lot better than I am. Where the hell are you going? To the airport. Good job. Can we ditch this bus? All right, baby. All right. Let's do this. Jesus. Stop that. What are you saying? Oh, nothing. How could he see anything through here? Oh, my God. Come on. Jesus. Go to me. What are you saying? Symbols everywhere. Give me the pen. Yeah. Give me the paper. What the hell is this in the middle? What is that? Guy standing. He's got a canine head. Egyptian. I don't know. A god. Maybe Egyptian god. What I got a snake here. What is that? Animals. That looks like a map to me. Really? What about dog man? That's the location. Monticelli, Asia. India. Do you think this is a Ptolemy map? This is so wild. Okay, what else? <sighs> All right. We got a snake. Okay. The Amazon. Yeah. Egypt. Lions. Africa. Now, this looks kind of like a crown to me. England. Okay, let me have a look. Bloody hell. Wow, give me that. This is unbelievable. There's something over there in the Middle East. 
beast. What, an arrow? I don't know what it is. It's not an animal. There's text, wait. Can you read it? I think it's backwards again. Hang on. Can you read it? Wait. Il morso penale. The last clue. This could be the final clue. Final destination. All right, so we've got a bunch of animals, some dots, and a stick. Wait. Animals, calendar. What about the Chinese calendar? Well, I've never heard of the year of the dog man. <laughs> What's that? Why does he have that symbol there? I don't know. marks a spot, I guess. Pagan iconography? Let's line up from here. Amazon. We go to England. Exactly. Africa. And India. There we go. And we end in Egypt. So what's our center then? Afghanistan. I get to wear that burqa. Call him when we get to Austria. What are you thinking about? That symbol, that's the spear, it just doesn't seem right. Well, it's a long flight from London, so we've got plenty of time to work it out. <laughs> What's that? That's Westminster Cathedral. It's beautiful. It's not pagan. It's religious. What's this look like to you? A spear. No, no, in a religious context. Um, looks like a carpenter's tool, like uh, something to do with Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus was a carpenter. Yes. He had a different symbol. Doves, a cross. Apostles. Which one? Let me see. Il morso finale. Il morso finale. The final bite. Thomas! What? The symbol is Thomas! The Last Supper. Yes! Yeah, exactly! Of course. Ah, we're not going to Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm telling you, there's a way to get in there from the rooftop. No, it's, yeah. it's impossible. You're not gonna get in there. That's never stopped me before, huh? Could you open the door? Maybe just, yeah, open, open the door and then we can talk? Thank you. Um, it's a beautiful language, I think. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah. If, if, I, if you, I could just come in and we could find a little camera, my camera, and I can get it. Is that okay? Okay, never mind. Thank you. Ciao. Five minutes to make the train to Athens. Oh my god, don't tell me you bought those tickets with your credit card. Of course I did. What are you thinking about? Look, just relax, okay? I used a credit card to buy five tickets to European cities that we're not going to, but I used cash for the two tickets to Athens. That way, while they're busy checking trains that we're not even on, we'll be safe and sound. Not just a pretty fit. Good plan. Okay, I'm gonna call Amal. He'll organize our travel arrangements to Afghanistan. Perfect. How much time have we got? Come on, we gotta go now. had nothing to do with the shroud. Maybe these clues had nothing to do with Da Vinci. What are you saying? That this is circumstantial? That 
it doesn't matter? Because I don't believe that, Julie. I've given up my life for this. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> Look. The clue's on the brick. Not this? Degrees. Longitude or latitude? Or both. I mean, either way, it gets us closer to where we're headed, right? Oh, maybe we're reading these clues wrong. Maybe it's just taking us down the wrong road. I'm just tired. Get it out. I'm going to Afghanistan. You know what your problem is? You just don't want to believe that Da Vinci could have created the shroud. Really? Yeah. We're going to Afghanistan. I'm tired. Good night. That's it. What are you doing, Michael? What's going on, Michael? It's a photograph of the shroud. That's why there's no pigment on the cloth. Oh, you're drunk. Give me your earring. Give me your earring. I need a pin or something. Why? Here, I'll show you. Hold down the edge of the shade. So what you're proposing is that some renaissance man invented photography 400 years before we thought so. Well, all he would need is a dark room, right? And he wouldn't even need a lens, although a crude one might help. You see, the renaissance artists would use camera obscura to project the images onto a canvas, and then they would trace the image. Yes, I know that. Well, the next step in making the shroud would just be some sort of light-sensitive chemical that would enable him to capture the image. The silver nitrate would do that, and more well, artists have been using it for thousands of years in their paint, but not on the shroud. That's Christ's shroud. Da Vinci had advanced knowledge on optics and chemistry. He was an expert on human anatomy.
Something about you uh, being a woman. That's why I love Afghanistan. We must come here more often. Vacation, I think, next time. Amal. Sorry if I caused you a problem here. Fine, but a problem. You got big fucking problem. What? You asked for my help, but I will not wreck my village for you. What are you talking about? There's people everywhere with guns shooting up. I lost two men, guns? Michael. Where? Two men. People are shooting, Michael. Coven's here now? I don't know who the fuck it is, but they're shooting my men, Michael. You need to get the fuck Where are out they? Of Where are now. these men? Where I are sent they? them away. They will be back. Okay. Get that white woman and go now. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. I need a ride. Okay, do you have a car? Any vehicle? I don't have nothing for you. That listen orange me. one. Michael, that's my American car. You I don't take care. My American right? car from me. Listen to me. Grab me the pitch. I'm gonna take that car. I'll return Michael, it to no. you. I'll get you a better one. Michael, okay? that took me two Keep years them to here. Get here. Keep them here. Don't take my car, Michael. That's my fucking American. Michael, that's my American car. God damn it, Michael. Go, go, go. We gotta go. Come on, get the car. We gotta get the car. Come on. Why? Come on now. Who's chasing? Just go. I need a GPS reading. Oh! Oh, hello. Look, Michael! Amal! Good job! Got any bullets in that thing? Fully loaded. Excellent. Yeah. You've got to bear slightly this way, towards the mountains. All right. That way. One second. This is it. There's 
nothing. We'll find it. Come and look at this. <laughs> saying all along something's missing it's like a key or a, a piece Brick. Yeah, that's our key. <laughs> oh. Oh. See anything? No. Nothing. There's no writing. There's no artwork. Just be careful, all right? Looks like we found the burial chamber. Perhaps a bit unfinished. Wow, look at this. This could take a while. <gasps> yeah, let's just keep moving. Watch your step, though. This place is probably covered with traps. No surprises. Yeah, maybe that's what the symbols on the burial shroud were talking about. Yeah, like a warning? <laughs> yeah. Come on.
is this? What is it? Oil. Backtrack. on the codex. Oh, we're close. What is that? I think it's a puzzle. Could be a combination lock. Wait a second. We've got nine digits in three spaces and we're out of clues. Did we miss something? Do we miss a clue? Well, we've got a triangle surrounding the sun and the moon. That clever bastard. What? It's the Mona Lisa. What? What is that going to do? No, it's the Mona Lisa. Listen to me. The theory of the Mona Lisa is that it's an anagram for soul anima. Right? The opposite energies of the sun and the moon. What about the three digits? The composition of the Mona Lisa is the Pythagorean triangle. <laughs> The ratio of the sides being three, four, and five. Three. Okay. Four. And last but not least.
told you I'd be here for the payoff. Huh? Oh, you did. How the hell did you find us? The door was open. I saw the gold. Give me that. Here's your shroud. It's all there. It's a stinking rag. You happy now? Come on, Kevin. Let's let's work something out, huh? What? 80-20? 70-30? Look, I don't care what you do with me. Just let her go. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Don't do anything stupid. Come here, look, look. You're never gonna have to work again a day in your life. you but Julia I'm gonna enjoy this Sam what the hell are you doing put the gun down Oh, no. Get out! Ah! Oh, no. 